Last night I heard this politician talking about his brand new mission. Liked his plans, but they came undone when it got around to God and guns. What's going on, guys? This is my trauma kit. Uh... Uh, this is not the actual video that we're going to do it on, but it is my trauma kit. What we're going to do the review on is inside the kit. Um, first, we'll start off with um, thank you guys for tuning in to this video. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it if you leave a comment as well. Um, like it, favorite it. Uh, really helps me out. So, um, let's get digging into this like I said this is my trauma kit I'll do a full review on the whole kit when it's finished it's not exactly finished right, right, right now so I have a few other things to add to it uh, and I may actually have to upgrade to a bigger bag because I've had to molly two bags to the outside of the actual bag to fit everything I need in the bag so we'll open the bag up here and show you what we're gonna do the review on it is the adventure medical kit trauma pack now um We'll set, to the, set this kit over here to the side. We'll have to reference a few things back to it. But um, let's go ahead and get started on this. As you can see, I've already opened it. I didn't tear it open. I cut it a cream line with scissors. Um, the reason why I opened it is because, number one, I wanted to look what was inside in it. Number two, you don't want to, when you're opening your trauma kit and you need to grab something, you don't want to be tearing something open and then having to undo it and going through the mess. Um, and also, I just think it's a lot easier just to keep it undone and um, I just undid it I don't think there's big of a deal it's resealable waterproof um, so we'll go overhead and flip it over and show you the contents list um, there you go I'm not gonna read them all off we'll just show you that and then it's gonna show your quick clock instructions um, there's all this stuff it's waterproof Small enough for everyday carry or EDC in your BU pocket for quick access. Uh, it's $24.99, 25 bucks at uh, Gander Mountain in Bowling Green. I'm sure you can get them just about other any other sporting goods stores as well. Uh, like I said, it is AMK Venture Medical Kits. Be safe. Um, so we'll go ahead and break into this kit. Uh, it is waterproof. Like I said, it does have a seal on it, like a vacuum type seal. We'll go ahead and pull out the first item, be easy to access, which is going to be your gloves and the bag, which will give you a biohazard sticker and a, I believe it's a cleanup towel here, biohazard and biohazard bag. Put your biohazard in, and once you get done using these gloves and whatever, whatever uh, may have contaminants on it, uh, you put it in this bag, stick it with biohazard sticker on the outside, and uh, you're in business for that. And that I believe, I do believe that is a, uh, I believe it is just a, just a towelette to uh, clean up with. Uh, your next item that's easy to access to, I can get to, is going to be duct tape. Uh, I mean, heck yeah, it's great. I mean, it's great. It, it sticks to anything. If you can't fix it with duct tape, you're asking the wrong questions. Um, but obviously, it's not going to be as good as your, uh, like your 3M cloth medical tape that perforates, which means it allows moisture out, but won't let moisture in. Um, but it is duct tape and it does stick very well. Uh, I think it's a good idea they put it in there. And then uh, we'll pull out another item here, which is going to be a um, triangular bandage, non sterile. Uh, gives you two safety pins. You can obviously use this for a splint or controlling bleeding or making a dressing out of. Um, it has rolled gauze. And obviously everything in here, even though it's 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 uh, based off of one use, everything in here can be used for anything. Uh, a lot of medics, you'll hear them talking about, you can use this for all this three, th five or six different things. The reason why is because improvising is key. Uh, when you, instead of carrying, you know, a triangular bandage and something else that could do the same thing that both of them would, you're adding a double the weight. Yeah, you may get more capabilities, 
But if this if this item's higher than higher in cost than this item, you're always going to carry these if it can do the same thing. So improvising is um, well not improvising, but more of a thinking of better ways to do stuff. And then you're going to get the base of this, which is going to be your quick clot sport. I have another quick clot down here in the trauma kit. It's the quick clot home. As you can tell, they're pretty much the same deal. They're just a different color. Over there, both 25 gram. The only difference is I think the bag here in this one is smaller. I don't know if you guys can tell. I do believe the bag in the the bag in the home is smaller than the sport, but I do believe they're both 25 grams. That's one that comes with that one. Um, next is going to be a some sort of gauze pad. I don't know which one yet. Uh, Obviously a bigger gauze pad, sort of like the surgery, the surgery pads. You get one of those. You get one smaller, uh, thinner gauze. Then we'll go to that last. And you're going to get three. Or, I'm sorry, four antiseptic towelettes. Four of those. A smaller four by four. And then you're going to get uh, instructions on here in the bag itself in case you go brain dead. And obviously, for a lot of people who don't know much, um, this will be helpful reading over when you get the kit before anything ever hopefully never happens but um like that like I said be I just said that but uh, it'd be a good idea to read over this um go ahead and read over it and learn about it it does come with a kit you don't have to go buy a book heaven forbid it ever happens uh you already know what you're talking about unless uh, you know what you're talking about and you just absolutely go brain dead which is possible and then the bag itself can be used for a sucking chest wound. Just about any polymer bag or plastic bag, the thicker material can be used for that, just to get a seal down. And obviously the duct tape will be better for that, considering it breathes, it doesn't breathe, and it sticks a lot better. It would be a lot better for a sucking chest wound in my eyes. Um, but like it, but it only comes with one of each of these. But the thing is, if you can't stop it with this, you're obviously going to jump to this. That's why uh, it's called Trauma Pack Quick Clot. Uh, I mean, if it's that serious, you have to break this out. And you can't stop it with this, you're going to probably need this anyways. Or you're going to be using the living crap out of this. Meaning you're going to use six or seven of each. So, um, Quick Clot is the basis of this kit. And then we'll lay everything out here. And I said, I remember I told you roll, roller gauze or road gauze. Um, here. We used packing, a gunshot, or anything. But quick clot is always is going to be your last resort. But when you need it, you better be glad it's there because it's obviously pretty bad. So that is it on the uh, Adventure Medical Kits uh, Trauma Pack. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good kit for 25 bucks. You get all this, considering this this here is about 10 bucks in itself. So you're gonna pay about 15 dollars for the rest of this stuff um, in the bag, um, and they all got they get it all together for you. You don't have to go through the hassle of going to different places getting the stuff. I think it's a good deal, especially a lot of people who um, aren't into the medical type deal. They just want to get something to have something to have a peace of mind to where if anything happens, uh, they have something. This is already put together for them. It's a good thing to get. It's well put together. It's well, uh, well um, manufactured, I guess you could say. So uh, I would definitely recommend this kit. Uh, I'd say go get one to add to your trauma kit or just to carry it. Consider it because you could probably use this as a grab type thing out of your bag. This is the first thing you see. Uh, I know, oh crap, 
grab the trauma pack. Um, something you can grab or you can throw to somebody and say, here you go, take care of him um, type thing. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out of time, so see you in the next video.